All right, stop. CCB8s by Hsu. It's not HSU. Everyone says HSU, but that's the guy's name, the engineer, Dr. Hsu. So you could say these are Hsu, CB, CC8s. God, I got to check now every time. CCB8s. CCB8. There's no short way of going about it. 700 for the pair or $369 each and they're marketed by HSU research, research or SU research started with subwoofers way back in the day and the subwoofers have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and they used to sell speakers which reminded me a lot of the Bic Americas that I reviewed the uh, FH65s. And this is their first departure into like something exciting and new and everyone's praising the hell out of it because it's a coaxial. You remember coaxials, Mike Cove OS, Canto Benz, and the mid-range tweeter arrangement on the Unify Elax, where the tweeter is in there, in the middle. And if I got a flashlight out, which just so happened to have one, you might even be able to see it way the hell back there like way the hell back there behind the magnet even they say it in the description it's behind the magnet and that's unique in that they're trying to do time alignment because tweeter tweeter sounds get to you faster than mid-range and bass sounds so if you put the tweeter further back by the time it gets here in some magical distance from the speaker it should hit you at the same time now, the other benefit of going with a coaxial is that you can, you're focusing all the sound from a single, from here, this fist size area, instead of here and where the tweeter up top. And that's usually a thing I care about on close desk speakers. Here in a room, it's not so important because you've got 10 feet for those, those things to align themselves. But... We should talk about where these speakers are best or why you not going to, if you want to go with these speakers, you're not going to spend $700 on a pair unless you want them for music only, in which case you're going to spend $700 on a pair. What you're going to spend is a little over a thousand dollars to get three of them because the pair is seven and individually is 369. Do math. This is one of the best center channels you can buy just in general because when you look at a center channel, if you look at the Mica MB42X center channel, it's a four inch driver, a tweeter, and a four inch driver. And that's the cheapest way to make a center? Hon no, honestly, the best way to make a center is if you had Mica MB42Xs like that up there, hello rear channels or back channels, take that and you put it there vertically, like a normal speaker. No one does that because it doesn't fit under a TV well, but it looks strange and odd, so no one does it. I do it because I'm absolutely out of my mind, but no one else does it. And the reason you'd want it vertical and not horizontal is if you have a drive, a, a four inch driver and a tweeter next to it, on a desk or on a stand here, it's fine because you're maybe this high up or this high down and the two, the distance between the drivers is a little bit. But when you're going for a center channel position, that means you could have people sitting here. Hi. And now the left and right difference is a lot and the sounds will get canceled out and muddled and bad. And when you go to a normal center channel design where it's two drivers and a tweeter, that just exacerbates it because now you have two four inch that are at least eight, 10 inches apart and being over there bad. Now this is the way center channels are designed. So you got to sort of live with it. The ones that have tried to get out of that, if you ever look for a center channel and you see it has four items left and right base modules and then a top and bottom tweeter and mid-range like the ELAC I believe the cheaper ELAC has that or even I have to look it up there are center channels with a vertical array in the middle for that exact reason because no one's willing to put a goddamn speaker just vertical in the middle so they'll fake it by putting left and right for base and then a vertical arrangement of mid-range and tweeter so that at least those are aligned this solves all of that because these speakers are on their side did anything change? No. Stand it vertical. Does anything change? Well, maybe the height of everything. Doesn't matter. It doesn't care. I had it, one of these as a center channel for a couple days while I had, uh, I believe it was either the HS, yeah, it was the HS8s were up here. 
So I had the Yamaha HS8s, which that review's already out. I love those things, but you know, I only have two. And the only reason I keep this from the center is because I couldn't block my TV for that long. But I dropped this here, plugged it into the receiver, it's, it's normal, dropped the screen in front of it and watched movies. And the dialogue, the only thing I have a problem with with the dialogue of this is these speakers are a little bit harsh. Just a little. And that's because of the shotgun effect that the tweeter is going through. Because all the coaxes I mentioned previously, this right here, I'd be touching the tweeter. And it'd be, you know, using this as the waveguide. But this tweeter is so far removed from the front of the unit that it's like looking down a tunnel. Dust. It's looking down a tunnel. And it's when I first arrived, me and the owner were playing with him, and I just couldn't get him to sit right with me. I couldn't do it. Because I would be right here, and it'd be like, oh, stop. And then I'd be here, and I'd be like, oh, it's okay now. So that's one of the issues you can have. When I had it as a center, a little bright, but, you know, just... This is an 8-inch driver. It's an 8-inch. It's got a reversed, by the way, surround that is a rubber-coated fabric. It's not rubber. It's not fully rubber like, like a surround on most speakers. And it's got dual ports. You're doing something when you have dual ports because that means you're trying to displace a lot of air. You don't do that unless you want to make these little baby subwoofers. And let me tell you, Dead Mouse brings it out quite well. Random Dead Mouse. I gotta check. Hold on. I gotta. One second. Yeah, it's in direct mode. I'm making sure that's not on. You're not on. I just checked. Those aren't on because one of them freaked out. It's throwing a buzz. That's just these speakers kicking out that fucking insane party bass. I'll answer the question in the comments. Is it more bass than the Yamaha HS8s? It's damn close. Damn close. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little fuller. Maybe a little more violent. But then again, I'm throwing more power into these than, I would, than the Yamahas can throw. Now, one of the selling points that it says, oh, well, you know, you get the same sound from everywhere you're looking at it, upside down and inside your bathroom and spinning around, I'm dizzy. Now, that's almost true. But that shotgun effect that I just talked about, where if you're right in front of it, it sounds brighter than if you're here, holds true. For music, I, you know, I have them basically pointing, where are you pointing? over there yeah, let's see this subwoofer is where my couch usually is yeah this one's pointing here and this one's pointing here and it sounds great if you tilt those in a little bit more they're a little too bright you tilt them out a little bit more and they lock a little bit so there is still an adjustment with the angle you have to play with it but don't worry because that's free no one seems to enjoy talking about that placement is everything and luckily placement is free Unless you have to buy a stand, then it costs as much as a stand. But you could make that out of piles of garbage if you really felt like it. So, what am I thinking about these speakers? I think for music, there are more refined sounding speakers, but there are very few more fun sounding speakers. Absolutely hysterical. Just, you know, the dorm, fine. You know, the, the bar mitzvah, you got a bar mitzvah coming, you just... <laughs> the imaging, because I'm using it with the Phantom Center. When I had it as a center, it was a center, and it was great for sitting over there, but then again, right in the middle was just like that, oh, you're pointing right at me. So, I think you can get past that. It's not so big a deal that I should be keep talking about it, but I'm still talking about it. So that should inform you on, on my thoughts on it. But if you are someone who's looking for a center channel and you don't know what to get, my advice has always been get a bigger, better center than your left and rights. And that's, 
usually confuse some people, like, oh, I don't know, well, which one should I get now? Well, for $369.99, I don't know if there's free shipping, by the way, I haven't checked out that thing. You could just buy one of these. The problem is, it's the size of a microwave oven. Do you want to put a microwave oven with a bright yellow cone right onto your TV? The wife acceptance factor on these is horrible. Even with the, with the veneer, let me show you the veneer. You can get them with a walnut veneer, which actually looks... That looks great. But the speaker design doesn't really... The grill doesn't change, so I hate the grill. The cone's still yellow, which is... I guess it's... I mean, this is their first colored driver, so it's not like they have a thing. They're not like the KRKs where it's like, well, it has to be yellow, it's KRK. But also, to get it in the rosewood and not the satin black is $80 more per speaker. So these are not winning any beauty contests. Any woman who sees these is just going to gag and walk out on you. Even with the wood veneer. But for a center, if you're one of those people who probably has sworn off women for the rest of your lives and you need a center channel that is more kick-ass than your left and rights, the odds of this being one of the more kick-ass speakers you can get are great. What do you got for your left and right? Oh, ELAC B6s. Oh, well, this is better than that. Put it in the center. As far as volume and glow end, I'll explain the reason for center channel. Everything that happens on the screen comes out of the center channel, which is why I don't have one. I built my screen to be audio transparent. I built it so that if I put a center channel there, you could play it right through that. But it came to me one day when I realized, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? I need to not have a center channel. I want to have a fireplace instead. Okay. That's better than a center channel. So what does that mean? If I don't have to worry about a center channel and I just push it to the left and right, it means I have to sit dead center. That's like a requirement now. If you sit here, guess what? Then that's all you're hearing. But if you sit in the middle, you don't need a center channel. You're good. Everything's fine and dandy. You and your loved one can sit right in the middle. You don't count. She does count, but she doesn't watch movies. Everything that happens on screen comes through a center channel. If you're watching Saving Private Ryan and a tank fires, that tank basically comes 90% through the center channel. When you shut off a center channel and run like this, that tank is now shared between two giant speakers instead of one. So a center channel, when you, en when you enable it, you got to get a fucking kick-ass one. Here it is. This is about as kick-ass a center channel as you can get. The only thing you got to deal with is a little bit of brightness when you're dead center. But the low end it produces, the volumes it'll handle, they're efficient. I mean, I'm at negative five on that. And those are up. Let's see what the gauge is looking like. <laughs> That's the dura ra 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 soundtrack. No, next. Nineteen forty one was a great movie, and it should get more play. Go watch Steven Spielberg's motherfucking nineteen forty one, starring John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd and. Everybody ever in like the 80s. Great movie. No one fucking loves that movie. I love that movie. Do I have a copy of that movie? All right, here we go. Membership revoked. John Wick. John Wick LED spirals. Oh, I'm tingling already. Sounds like these speakers are punishing the air. Bad air. You need to be destroyed. And that's what they're doing. They, they sound more violent than the HS8s. The HS8s, you know, were big, rumbly speakers, and I love they got real loud. Like I said, you could put them in a bar. Put these in your bar. If your bar is filled with meth heads, this is, this is it. I'm not saying there's less quality. 
I mean, I put on that other, you know, just very finite things. The, the highs are very, very sharp because they're, they are. Because they fucking are. If they were toned down just a touch, these would be perfect speakers. I'm trying to think of like, they're ugly and the highs can just, if you're right in front of them, they just creep up a little bit too much. You sit back, you twist them just the right way, you get a third for the center channel. Because right now, again, I'm listening with no phantom center, so it's left and right and left and right. So everything's coming out of two. When you have it just as one center, that thing takes over everything and it's just fine. Because you get just, just, just enough murder, gunfire, cannon sounds, just, mm. I should have set it up. I was considering setting up this review where there was just one sitting in the middle. And then I would put up, you know, uh, whatever little tiny bay. I actually do have the Canto Bends. They're not that very good. They're not very good. But uh, they're great for a desk and imaging, but these don't work up close, by the way. I wouldn't even attempt it. They're just mothers of violence. I mean, look, I'm not going to knock you if you try it. If you get a pair, by all means, take them out of your living room and put them on your desk and see what happens. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I can't. And I shouldn't. Before, before I give these back, I may set them up in the room, because right now I've got the uh, Stealth 8s in there, and uh, those, those are weird, those are weird. The HS8s work better out here, and the Stealth 8s work better in there, so go figure. Now you don't have to have these sideways like I do, I just have them sideways to bring them down a little bit. Obviously they'd be slightly taller if they weren't, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't care. I'm not funking with the phase anymore. Do these get approved? Yes. They are big, violent speakers. Violent. Just, just, like, these are the type of speakers when you install them, someone comes to yell at you. Someone shows up at your door knocking real loud, like, like a normal knock would probably get your attention, but they're knocking hard because they're angry. Like, could you lower that shit? And you invite them in, pour them a drink, woo them into your bed. Doesn't matter, man, woman, police officer, you do that because you're a cool guy, whoever you are. You're going to try it. It's not going to work and I'm going to hear about it. It's going to be hilarious. For $1,000 or $1,060, you get three of these. And I'm trying to think if you could do better for that sort of money. Again, you're not putting them in the rear. If you, if you buy a set of these for the rear, get off my channel. Rear channels do not need that. Especially that, because again, flashlight. Rear channels, th these speakers are here because they're flawed. Rear channels literally need to be flawed. This tweeter is just way too bright and it shoots everywhere and it's not that clean, but it gets loud and it's front ported and it's sort of shallow, so it's perfect. Put it, sit here and just blah. You know, shit flies by and it's like, whew. And then those in the rear probably could have not even needed to be the X version of the Mica MB42s. Could have got the cheaper $50 set, $40 set. Because it's just sounds in the rear. If I could redo it all over again, and I can because I get speakers constantly, I don't know if I'd change those to those. Maybe. They're not as pretty. Okay. Sound demo is in the description. <sighs> The imaging, very accurate, right here, dead center. It's as clear as day. It's very precise. Sometimes when you look at two speakers set up, the imaging is sort of like a ball. It's a big wash. And there's just a sound, a vocal coming from there. But here, no, 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 no. It's right there. That's part of the coaxial. The joy of the coaxial design. But as soon as you're off kilter, well, that goes away. And that's where getting a third one for the center would, would count. I would have loved to review these as a triple kit. As a 3.1. Or a 3.0. Honestly, three of these in the front, you shut off all cutoff on your receiver and tell it to push the 0.1 channel to all three of them. I don't... I mean, it's not going to make that sort of low end. But it's going to make some low end.
I gotta tell you how loud these are. I'll talk, I'll talk loudly so you understand my cat is, how is she, what? She doesn't give a shit or she's deaf. She's not deaf, I could call her name. Chewbacca, Chubers. Maybe she's deaf, she's not. And I don't play it this loud when she's sleeping there. It's just I'm doing a review and she's fucking me up. You're fucking me up, baby. Thank God the subwoofer's not on. If she's sleeping up there, that subwoofer, I can't watch anything. I bet cat bedtime. I'm a nice guy. <sighs> yeah. You don't need to worry about the HS8s for out here. HS8s have their own spot. You get them if you don't have amplifiers. If you have a special need, you can mix on them. Although I think the Stealth 8s, although they're twice the price, are superior as far as that goes. But we're getting into other reviews. They're leaking into this review. I like these speakers. They have a couple flaws, like the looks, like the weird conical, you know, tweeter, the trebles here, right where my hand is. If I come here, it's like, oh, oh, there's a tweeter. Not all the time. It's not like it's a real, I would say it's bad if it's bad, because I don't want to hear any bullshit from anyone in the comments. Oh, you sent me wrong. No, no, no. They're fine as long as you're not directly in front of them. And I'm talking about directly in front of them 10 feet away. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, I think you could live with these. I want to, I want to say they're the loud, they're the, these might be the loudest home theater speakers you can buy for that price. Because I love the Yamos, I love the RBH, I mean those JBL 530s, great speakers. And then you gotta get to the ones that are actually like volume is the, the uh, ELAC 6s. The ELAC UB5s are only a five inch, so they never actually got loud. If you said I needed a loud home theater, it was gonna be home theater direct level 3s or the older ELAC B6s. And now it's these, just these. They get so fucking loud. I mean, I'm playing, I'm playing, you know, music. But if I switch this over, I'm sorry to keep making the review longer and longer and longer and longer. But my true fans don't give a flying shit. Let's see, what's a loud movie? Oh, do I know exactly where that gunfight happens? I'm sorry, Chewbacca. Best gunfight in a movie, probably, ever. I know they would try to like redo the sounds in a Foley thing, and they're like, no, 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 just take the real sounds and the real filming, because they were firing blanks, and it's just. This is with two of them. This is happening with left and right sharing with the center's duty. If I put on a center, actually I'll do that right now, because again, who cares how long these videos are. I'm gonna tell the receiver, oh God, what did I just do? I'm gonna tell the receiver that there is a center channel. It's not hooked up and the contacts are not touching because I know better. I'm gonna set the center instead of none, it'll be set to 40 Hertz. So now when I unpause this, it's going to pretend there's a center channel. It's going to send the things to the center channel. And you're going to hear what the left and rights are still doing. Come on. Yep. Lot of rear channel. Lot of rear channel. Glass breaking. Do you hear how important the center channel is? How much is missing from the soundtrack? The echoes are just fantastic in this movie, by the way. A tr it's not even DTS HD. It's just standard DTS. 
No, I'm sorry, it's True HD, which is actually a format I prefer more. So this is uncompressed surround sound, and it's just... Like his shotgun was toward the edge of the screen and it came out of there a little bit. But it's just... Three of these... That's it. That's the loudest you can get home theater until you go with the um, MT-110s. That's it. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, until you get like a 10 inch speaker up here. PSA MT-110, thank God. I almost forgot that. That will be louder than this, because those are the loudest things on Earth. The only thing, you know what these come close to? And it's gonna be weird for me to say it, because they're not here, I let the guy borrow it, I love me the Stealth 8s. The Emotiva Air Motive 6s. Because, they were 200 watts a box. The lower got 100, top, and this is gonna push more, and they're real close. But you can't always run those, and you can run these, and it's just gonna happen. I'm actually amazed at how little the gunfire is coming from the left and right. That's how dependent the center channel is. In fact, can I... I don't think I could be playing it when I switch that over. Let's see. Home setup, speaker setup, speaker settings, normal type, powered, no. Speaker config, subwoofer front, center. Let's play. Now it's muted the sound until I get out of this menu. Alright, if you haven't seen Heat, you're doing yourself a disservice. Go watch heat it's classic classic wallpaper description in the description wallpaper download description in the description download patreon link in the upper right hand corner this review didn't cost me anything because the guy drove here let me borrow him and i let him borrow mine so there's no shipping involved so at least that's a quality quality thing but i do need to feed the cat and i'll get you the links for these and whatever else i've used in this thing I'll, any of the speakers i mentioned i'll drop in the description as well so yeah, um, the loudest, the loudest home theater speakers, I'm pretty sure. Not bad for music, really just violent. Eh. How do they sound? If they get my approval, they don't sound bad. That's how Zeos works.